Uh, Doug Wolf says, I built a Whoop Beta 85 size based around 2S batteries, but the thing just takes off with 2S, flies regular with 1S. Is this a PID tuning thing? Yes, Doug. Uh, thank you for a $5 super chat. Uh, it is a PID tuning thing and maybe a filtering thing. So what you're going to want to do, Doug, is this. Uh, wait, no, wrong thing. Here we go. Doug, what you're going to want to do is... Um, Do I? I have a flight controller right here. Connect. Oh, no. Disconnect. Wrong one. Here we go. Got it. Doug, in the PID tuning tab, you are going to go down to, let's see. Here we go. This is what we want. Hang on. You're going to want to go down here where it says cell count for auto profile switching. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically change your PID profile based on the cell count of the battery you plug in. So here are your PID profiles. Do you see that I have four possible PID profiles? So I'm on profile number one. And what I'm going to do is down here, where it says cell count for auto profile switching, I'm going to change that to 1S. And then I am going to save. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to profile two. And actually, what I should probably do is click copy profile. Oh, no. Sorry. Hang on. Go back to profile one. When I'm on profile one, I'm going to copy profile from profile one to profile two. And that'll take, that'll give me profile number one as a starting point. Alternatively, you can simply go to profile two, which is currently on defaults. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna set the cell count for auto profile switching to 2S and save. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically switch me between these two PID profiles, depending on the voltage of the battery that I plug in. And then on profile two, I'm going to tweak things. Like, for example, I could go to the filter settings. And a lot of times, if you have a higher voltage battery, that's going to give you much higher RPM. I mean, going from 1S to 2S is going to approximately double the RPM of the motors. That makes a big difference. Sometimes you'll get a lot more vibration and you'll need a lot more filtering when you do that. For example, I'm just like giving you examples. Don't take this as gospel. Sometimes you'll need to go and you'll simply need to turn the master multiplier down because the motors are making so much thrust that the PIDs, that's where I would probably start. I would probably start by just turning the master multiplier down to like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 and see if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, I would bring the filter settings down as well. Um, but that's how I would approach this problem. 